premise for Dead Ringer has to do with Melinda having to do something she doesn't normally do, and that is break the news of the death of a loved one to someone who is alive. In this case, it's the fiancé of a girl who Melinda comes to meet. No sooner does she relay this information than that person, very much alive, shows up. How can that be? And that is the mystery of Dead Ringer. Melinda's response to her son being in danger is the response that I think any mother would have, and that is the mama lion's going to protect her cub, and at all costs she's going to protect him. However, it may mean her disavowing things that she has dealt with all her life and all of her son's life, and how she's going to deal with that is something that once again is revealed over the course of this show. The other challenge, of course, is the one that Ghost Whisperer always has. We have what we call MOGs. You ask, what does that mean? Well, we mean, MOG means without ghost. A normal term in filmmaking is MOS, which is without sound. That's when you shoot something silent. Well, we've made up our own language, MOG, which is without ghost. And it makes it very, very challenging, once again, to shoot a television series on the kind of schedule that you have to, i.e., you have to shoot a scene with the ghost and then shoot the same scene without the ghost, creating twice as much work. So it creates all kinds of challenges, but fun. I'm Ian Sander, executive producer of Ghost Whisperer and director of this week's episode, Dead Ringer. Please tune in Friday night, 8 p.m. on CBS.